I. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, my client flew in from Texas to get a cover up done. And first of all, we're gonna go ahead and meet at a restaurant so we can go over his ideas and the concept and what I'm covering up. So let's get this day started. Well, first of all, welcome guys. Welcome. What, is that an horchata right there? <laughs> no, is that an horchata? <laughs> all right, let's get to it. All right. Let me see what you have. Show it off. Show all Make that. Make sure nobody's looking. Okay? <laughs> 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 that is beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's not yeah. as bad. No. So that's good. It's not as bad. There's no scarring, so that's good too. How'd you? When'd you get that tattoo? I forgot the, the oh, background of that tattoo. This was... I need details. <laughs> they tell us. This was my daughter when she was first born. Mm -hmm. was 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. 20 years ago. And I got it. One of those spur of the moment, you know, and had too much to drink that night. You know? How old were you? I was 20. 20. Yeah, 20. Oh. And then uh, my buddy, I wouldn't even go get one. My buddy's uh -huh. like, hey man, my cousin does, you know, we're here, you know, my cousin does tattoos. I'm like, is he good? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, uh, and, and at that time, you know, with alcohol, I, uh -huh. I heard, damn, he's, he's dope. It's dope. Yeah. So I'm like, no. all right. So I go in, and, you know, he's like, you know, right away it was a red flag. We're like in the living room on the couch. You know, just, he's like, all right, here's my book. And it was like, just like a paperback. And it was like, there's some stencil in there. Just pick which one you like. No. And I'll put a name in there. I'm like, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking through it. I'm like, that's almost like the Tupac cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah I want that one right there. I want that one. And, he's, and then he's like, I'm going to get that one too. I'm like, I'm like, let's do it. Let's do it. No. And I got it. And then the next day, I'm like, oh, he didn't even like do the wording right. And it was like, it was just. It was bad, and ever since then, I was like, 20 years, I said, I'm gonna get this thing covered up, covered up, covered up, for recording Man, so I, I didn't record because I thought it, we were just gonna kind of, kind of like start going over the, the idea, but he just dropped a bomb on me. He just dropped a bomb on me. Let me see. So what, explain what you want to get, because I, I got too excited. Originally, I was gonna go with like a LA theme, you know, representing and stuff, but with some uh, research and some online work, I'm gonna go with this. Gross! Let's go! I got, I just got it customized. Like this is, this is dope. I did not expect this. Did not expect it at all. I thought we were, it, we're gonna do some photo shoots, 100%. We have to, to making sure we got the right angles, customize it that way we have to. So we can head over to the shop after this and start doing a quick photo shoot. All right, here we go. For the last bacon, for the last bacon, for the last bacon. You ready? You ready? All right. Is it one, two, three, shoot, or like one, two, three? One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. Okay, okay. Somebody make the count. You make the countdown. Oh, you want to make the countdown? All right, you make it. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, shoot. Oh. Oh! Scissors? What is this? Okay, okay. Ready? One, two, three, shoot. Oh! I got the bacon. <laughs> Excuse me. One, two, three. Perfect. And then do one looking all the way up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, and if you guys don't eat breakfast, I'll have some sandwiches here ready. And if you do eat breakfast, then you have something to eat tomorrow. But we'll be ready for you tomorrow. Yes, Any questions? Let's get it. Alright, sounds good. Let's get it. Thank you, nice to meet you. Guys. Alright, if you want to get us that tattoo tomorrow, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. Oh, yeah. Good, girl. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just hanging there over here. So for today's project, um, I'm going to be doing a cover-up and I'm covering this up, which is a cross. He got it done about 20 years ago. And uh, I get this question a lot in, uh, in the comment section asking, how do you tattoo darker skin? using gray tones and doing a cover-up so this is perfect my client is has darker skin complexion so this is the concept that I, we have that i have uh, customized 
So what I did is we did a photo shoot yesterday with uh, my client's wife and we ended up doing a whole bunch of different angles until I found the one that looked right uh, to get this done. I added uh, the LA skyline and some filigree on the face just to give it a little bit more of a style to it. Can you do this face, Mikey? Come through. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and put on the stencil now. So as I mentioned, see how the skin tone here is like a reddish kind of tone, reddish brown, so a darker skin complexion. So the key to making this pop is having so much contrast and avoiding light uh, tones. So I'm not gonna be using any of my light grays. I'm gonna be using solid black and um, a medium gray and possibly somewhere in between black and medium gray. And making sure that I leave a lot of skin open as much as I can, because adding too much to this piece is gonna just gonna make it look like a black ink blob everywhere. Ink, ink blob? Does that make sense? <laughs> Tell them what you did. <laughs> Come. Vacation. Tulum. Tulum. A whole week. The sun in Tulum. Do that. Too. Oh. Well, at least we know that is being more like... naturally dark. <laughs> <laughs> I was always this skin tone. Let me see who's darker right now. I got you. Dude. Yeah, for real. This is winter time too. This... So... <laughs> <laughs> I ball it. <laughs> There. Have you relaxed your arm? There you go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Let's go.
I ended up doing most of the tattoo just to kind of like block everything out uh, and be able to kind of uh, leave what I wanted to explain at the end. So what I wanted to explain is the face. How am I gonna do the face after I incorporated so much contrast in it? From my point of view, uh, the way I would approach it is that I made, I made sure that everything around it had high contrast and the face was the, the part of this tattoo that was gonna stand out the most. So that's why I left it at the end because I wanted to make sure that the whole thing was gonna pop rather than going, you know, back and forth, back and forth, and then at the end I'm like, oh, it's too dark, you know what I mean? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dip it in in my medium gray. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the cheek, on this area, and start slowly. So leaving a lot of space open, a lot of open skin, I think um, is the best thing to do when doing this kind of uh, cover-ups. Especially using gray tones, you gotta make sure that you know your values and everything looks nice and bright. I'm gonna start blending it out like this, feathering it out. Gotta make sure that the face is soft. I'm using my 27 Curve Mac with a 5.0 voltage. I'm using my medium tone because I feel like it will give me like the contrast that I need for the face without going too dark. If any of you have experience uh, with tattooing darker skin, go ahead and drop a comment and let me know how you executed things you avoid doing and things you recommend doing for everybody who is wondering or who's wanting to learn how to tattoo darker skin complexion. I think it's a very important topic because not a lot of people know how skin is gonna react or how everything's gonna heal up. What if you apply some yellows or some reds or some blues? How is that gonna affect the, on the how is that gonna turn out on the skin? So very important questions. I, me myself, I don't know much about color when it comes down to um, doing color on uh, darker skin complexion. So I would, I would definitely want to hear everybody's opinion. With this uh, gray tones, I'm pretty much treating it like if I was uh, tattooing with a uh, normal gray wash or a drop system, uh, except I'm, I'm using true grays with this, but I'm treating it, I'm tattooing as if I was using gray wash. So yeah, so this is the process that I'm gonna keep on doing throughout the whole face, making sure that I'm not doing it too dark. I'm gonna do the same thing with the nose. And uh, there's not much to explain, just to say that when you're doing darker skin, leave a lot of open skin, let that tattoo breathe. That way it glows, it's bright. Thank you guys for coming back and watching this video. And to whoever is new to this channel, welcome to the club. As an artist, we gotta make sure that we educate our clients about this topic. Everyone can have an amazing tattoo. It's all about communication. And as a client, do your research. Choose the artist that can do the best tattoo for you. Listen to your artist, work together, and come up with the best concept for you. If something doesn't work, try something else. Stay with the same theme. There's so many options out there that it's insane. So take your time. And at the end of the day, it's all about the quality. Once the artist provides all this information and the client understands, just make a responsible decision and see how you want to move forward. But the last thing I want to say is that if the artist is not working with the client, maybe it's not the right fit, vice versa. Go with the artist and also choose your clients wisely to make sure that you guys are on the same page. Everyone's excited about that tattoo because if the artist is just trying to get money, or if the client is just want to get tattooed because it's already there, maybe we should reconsider, you know? It's just something, some things to think about. But thank you guys for coming back, I appreciate it. And if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next week. Peace.